Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new video. Uh, in this particular video, we are going to design a landing page uh, from start to end. Okay, so in the uh, I am thinking of creating two parts. The first part will be designing the website in Figma, and in the second part, we'll be converting that into HTML and CSS. Okay. So let's begin uh, to begin with. Uh, I have created a new page, uh, an empty page called landing page in Figma. And uh, uh, the first thing that I would do is just create a frame. Okay, so uh, I will just create the desktop frame first. Okay, so this is my uh, this is going to be my desktop frame. So first uh, I'm going to design the website for the desktop and then for the mobile. Okay, so um, Now I don't have anything particular in my mind. Uh, let's see what uh, how the things go. Okay, so whenever you design a website, you should first have a design system ready, right? So let's create a uh, a uh, simple frame now here i am going to you know add all my uh, design elements okay so let's uh, let's call this as okay so design system okay now the first thing that i would like to uh, have in my design system is the color palette okay so now um, it is difficult to select the color theme without having anything in your mind. So uh, I use a very, uh, there are various websites you can use to uh, select your color palette, but I prefer color space. Okay. You can use uh, other websites also, but uh, I just uh, started using this and this is a nice website for uh, creating uh, wonderful gradients and palettes also. Okay, so now uh, uh, you uh, the the way this works is you just have to select the starting color. Okay, so you can select one color that you like to have on your website, and then click on generate, and then it will provide you with various options that you can have uh, for your color palette. Okay, so today I'm thinking of. Uh, Let's go yellow. Okay, somewhat yellow. Okay, so yeah, let's select this and click generate. And as soon as I do this, you can see this is what I have got. And there are lots of different options. You can select uh, anyone that you like. Uh, Let's select, I think this color is, I don't like that color much. So let's go a little, yeah, somewhere around here. Okay, now let us click generate again. Okay, so, so let's try to use this particular gradient. Okay, so I like this. A dark color so I will use this one okay so let's copy that uh, hex code from here and let's go to Figma and let's create a, a circle right with that color and let's select the fill and set that color okay so this is the color that we are going to use for the background maybe okay so i can uh, do this and then come over here and add a new uh, sorry come over here and click on create style okay so i can say this as um, Okay, so landing page slash BG. So this is going to be my landing page background. Okay, so let's try to apply it and see how it looks. Okay, so let's go to select the desktop now. 
okay and select the fill and uh, sorry not the fill from here in this four dots you will see our background style that we have created okay so this the uh, when you do in this way what it does is it it helps you in selecting the colors easily okay so that is why i like to use this particular system now i have this particular uh, template uh, sorry background set now let us select another color which will look nice on top of it okay so let's see if this yellow color will because it's a dark background so let's see if this yellow helps in any way okay so i can duplicate this and i can now change the color okay so this is going to be my new color uh, let's add landing page let's say primary okay so i'm not yet sure whether uh, i'm going to use this or not but let's see so let's add a text okay and let's increase the font a little and now let's add set the color to this color okay so i don't know whether it, it looks good or not but it's okay um, but i would like to stick to the white white color rather okay so let's duplicate this and change the color to something or let's put it completely white okay so let's add white and obviously i cannot see it uh, if everything is going to be white so let's add a stroke so that we can see that there is a style over there and once we have it now i can save it as a style okay so landing page slash primary one okay so let's call it as primary one so now instead of this i would like to select this one and i think this looks better uh, dark background with a white color looks a little better okay so we can select this or we can go down and find some different color combinations Okay, I also like this one. Okay, so let's take that and create a style system with that. Okay, so let's edit this and let's set this to this color. And let's set this to this color. and let's create a duplicate and add the last color that is going to be this color so our
okay so now i have uh, colors let me remove the stroke from all of them i don't need the stroke so this is going to be our color palette okay and let's uh, see if everything has a style this is landing page bg this is uh, um, landing page primary and i can say this is my um accent okay so let me just change this to accent one and and let this be landing page accent two okay so this is going to be landing page accent two this is accent one this is primary i should i should call this as primary one okay so let me just undo and come over here and let me just this is primary one okay and let me just shift them a little and create a new style and let's let's detach this and let this be a white color okay and let's add this also to our styles landing page primary two okay so i have so okay so i have these five colors all set and ready to go now i just have to uh, assign these colors for my ss system right so let's select this particular color so that is going to be my uh, what do you say color palette okay so so my color palette is ready so next let's start with the text okay so now i have to decide what should be my font style okay so let's select of uh, text and let's go through some of the fonts this looks to okay so let's select this prata and we will use this as our font okay so let's create a style system okay so Okay, so I've just created a text and here I'm going to set the, the font as Prata and let's have the size of 36 and uh, I think that is it. And let's increase the spacing a little. Okay, so this is going to be my h1 tag okay so this let's suppose this is going to be my h1 tag so i will save this also landing page slash h1 okay so that is going to be my h1 i would like to create a few more things that is i would like to create an h2 and a paragraph okay so let's set this to be uh, let's first detach and let's set this to be a little smaller font let's go for 28 okay and the auto width to let's let's put it to zero back to zero right and uh, then 
uh, I think that is it. Okay, so so I have the text al text aligned, and I think that is it. Okay, so I have my design ready. Now I can store it as another style landing page h2 so i have two styles now and the final one i will detach this also and let's have a font of 16 sorry let's select everything and detach it and let's call let's say how 16 looks okay 16 is fine so 16 uh, our font size is going to be 16 okay so this is going to be our font size and now let's style it a little i think everything is fine let's create a new style for this landing page slash uh p p for paragraph okay so so i have my text ready okay so now let's come over here and start designing our page okay so i have my basic elements ready so these are uh, my basic elements let's come over here and let's start designing okay so let's start with the logo okay so let's uh, let's say uh, this website is for a bookstore and let's call it bookshelf okay so let's call this uh, bookstore as bookshelf okay and uh, let's select the color as sorry set so select the color as one of our primary colors okay so let's see how yellow looks doesn't look that good but let's let's uh, go ahead with yellow okay and we can change the color okay so let's select this okay so this is going to be our logo right then let's put it to this particular side this is going to be a full page website right so let let's keep it over here and then we will later decide where to put it okay so that is first part then let's have a, a nav bar on top okay so home so obviously this uh, this size of home is a bit too much so let's try to use h2 and with a color of this color will do okay so this is going to be my nav bar i think this also is a bit too huge okay so i will change it to paragraph okay mm. okay so i have home next i want books i also have something let's say what else do i have um search and let's call it stores and finally let's add one more and call it contact or yeah that's fine 
and now let us select each one of them and group it okay so that will be our nav bar so our nav items okay so let's call it nav items and let's bring it to this side okay so that is going to be my book uh, sorry uh, my header that is my logo and my uh, nav bar okay so let's see how it looks till now okay so it looks okay but i think we should have a little bit more you know some something more is required right so So let's distribute this and okay so now the spacing is okay so i think i will go ahead with this style now let's come and design the landing page okay so what i'm thinking is for the landing page there should be an image so let's go to our plugin let's select let's go to undraw okay so so let's go to undraw and let's browse let's search for book okay and see what do we get okay so i like this one so let's select this and uh, let's save it to the desktop and then drag it over here okay so this is how the things look let's rescale a little okay so now this is going to be our hero image right now the, obviously the colors don't look uh, is not following our particular design pattern so obviously we can change it so let's because it's an SVG we can get inside and change each and every part of the color okay so you can see I can change everything but if you come over here then the better uh, option would be to use this particular option to change the color okay so uh, i can uh, come to my color space website and this is the color that i would like for my images and so i will just replace this by this color and that's it i got uh new color okay so let's select this download it again okay and now i will just delete this image and instead i will just drag this in over here so now this looks much better okay so So I can resize and put it over here and then now I can have a slogan for our website okay so let that slogan be
Okay, so I have just written a statement where dreams can be read. Okay, so let's give it a color and let's set it to be this. Okay, and center line. So this is going to be our hero image with the text. Now I would like to add another element that is going to be a text. Okay, so let's, let's just not think too much about this and let's use a uh, Lauren Ipsum plugin and generate one paragraph. That's it. It's that simple. Now I can change the this to paragraph and obviously this color does not look nice so i will change it to a white color right so this this will create a nice little um paragraph with a heading tag and an image and finally i would like to add a button okay so now obviously i can create the button over here itself but it's it would be better to use the design system only to create the button so let's come over here and let's create a button okay so let's create a button the color should be let's go for this color okay and i can have a st stroke of white color okay be right now it will not be visible because my background is white so and once that is done i can have a text inside it let's call the text begin now okay so begin now and this text should be h2 okay and with the color of our so that color doesn't look good so let's take a yellow color no white okay so white is fine Okay. Still, I, I don't like this button much. So let's change the color. Uh, okay. So this is fine. Okay, so let's Okay, better. I should uh, I should have set this entire background to be the same color as you know the this thing so that it you know we we are we can see it better. Okay, so let's that will be much better. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so now we can see the button much more clearly, but the problem here is now this is not visible. So let's add a stroke and add a, okay. Okay, so we are back and now this font, I think because it's a yellow button, I think it should be a dark color would be better. Okay, so now this is something that I like. Okay, so let's see if a shadow will help so let's add a shadow and i don't think it's helping i can tweak it a little and maybe that will help let's see so four and eight
okay no i am not going to use a drop shadow okay so it is this is fine okay so once i have this now i can decide if i want a rounded corner or not but i i am going to design it simple okay so let's select both these elements and uh, create a component of this and let's call it button okay so this is going to be my button now i can hold alt and drag the button over here and that will bring me my button okay so that's it so that is going to be my website now only thing left i would like to add is basically a footer so let's have a footer here okay so let's add a footer okay so i have added a footer now i don't want uh, such a big footer so i will make it paragraph then i would like to change the color to a little muted color okay and i think that is it so i have my text footer so this is going to be my final website okay now let's check it out and see if okay so i think i am happy with the website uh now let us add a little more effects to this right so once our website is ready uh, i'm not happy with the footer by the way so i may redesign the footer a little bit later but for the time being this is fine so let's move everything to the center a little okay so now now it's fine okay so because this footer was close to the button i was not liking it now it's fine now i can if you want you can reduce the size of the image a little bit more uh, once that is done i would also like to highlight which page i am on right now okay so for that i would like to add a an option some some option over here okay so let's select this and let's try to do a stroke mm. no let's let's use the line tool okay and let's just zoom in and create a line over here and let's increase the width of the stroke a little change the color to yellow okay so i think this is okay let's look at the final output okay so i am happy with this okay so that's it my design is complete now i would like to add a little bit of uh animations to this okay so uh, let's see how should i animate this okay so as soon as the page loads i want this to you know appear after some time with a zoom effect okay so let's see how we can do that okay so let's duplicate this so now i have the 
I have the same page twice. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of scope. Okay, so let's select both of them and bring it down a little. Okay, so now let's take take this out of context, but inside the desktop one. Okay, so it should be inside, but it is out of the um, context and here it's going to it's going to show up okay so from the right it is going to slide in now i want in the prototype i will just move from this frame to this frame okay so uh, i'm going to move from this frame to this frame but on after a delay okay so after a delay of let's say 200 milliseconds i am going to do a smart animate so is in and a duration of 300 milliseconds let's see how it looks so this is how it looks right so again uh here in the design I can change the let's see what happens if I change the opacity to zero okay and let's let's go to go back to prototype uh, option and select this and here let's increase it to let's say 800 milliseconds let's see let's refresh okay so let's run this animation again okay so that is good but now i can just you know increase the delay so that delay is too much so let's let's make it 400 400 is fine right and so let's restart Okay, so this is fine. Now let's go back and so for the image that is okay. And let's design it for the uh, paragraphs also. Okay, so Let's bring it this side. Let's bring it this side. Okay, so these two are going to be over here let's go to design and let's change the opacity layer opacity to zero percent and layer opacity to zero percent okay so i have added and i also want this button to appear after a while okay so let's add zero percent 
so now if I come back and plus restart that is nice okay so that's it uh, I have added a little bit of animation and my final product is ready okay so this is going to be our final website that we are going to design in the next uh, part in HTML and CSS okay so I hope you have understood uh, how uh, how I have designed this particular uh, bookshelf website using Figma so in the next part we will see how we can convert this entire Figma design uh, and uh, make it into a real HTML template okay so see you in the next part